how could Einstein explain photoelectric effect? First of all, a look at the setup. A vacuum tube which contains two electrodes. One of the electrode is coated with cesium. When light of certain frequency larger than a certain minimum frequency called threshold frequency is incident on it, electrons are emitted. Now these emitted electrons are detected by the current that is shown by this emitter. In fact, the emitted electrons when reach the electrode, they constitute a current. Now this setup, in this setup, we can change frequency, we can change intensity of the incident light. Now, there were specific points that Einstein noted. Number one, there was no photoelectric emission below a certain minimum frequency called threshold frequency. In fact, Einstein's equation was energy of the photon, energy of the photon which is represented by the formula H nu or Hc by lambda. This energy of the photon is equal to work function of the metal plus the maximum kinetic energy or kinetic energy of the maximum energetic electron. This was Einstein's photoelectric equation. Now as you know work function of a metal is the minimum amount of energy of the incident photon necessary to make the emission possible. That means that minimum frequency, with that minimum frequency, the energy is H nu minimum, must be equal to work function plus K max is zero, meaning the electron has been emitted, but it has no kinetic energy. It has just been emitted. So what frequency will be required? The frequency will be phi by h and this frequency, this minimum frequency itself is called the threshold frequency. Einstein noted that whatever be the intensity of light, however intense the light was, there was not even a single electron emitted when the frequency of the light was below threshold frequency. Now, this graph was obtained from the experiment which says that as long as the frequency of light is equal to threshold frequency or larger than that, the photoelectric current remains constant. It also tells us, this graph, that the photoelectric current does not depend on the frequency of incident light as long as the frequency is equal to or above the threshold frequency. Of course, below threshold frequency there is no emission. Now, uh, here there was a facility to change the voltage, the applied voltage, the applied voltage, the potential difference between the two electrodes could be changed. So it could be changed. And when the applied voltage is changed, let us say uh, from zero to higher values, the photoelectric current goes on increasing, but beyond a certain applied voltage, whether you increase the voltage or not, there is no change in the photoelectric current. Photoelectric current becomes maximum. This maximum photoelectric current is called the saturation photoelectric current. Now, when 
the applied voltage was made negative that means the polarity of this battery was reversed so this became negative in that case so the emitted electrons they were facing repulsion so in that case when the applied voltage was made more and more negative lesser and lesser number of electrons could reach the electrode hence the photoelectric current goes on decreasing now for a certain minimum voltage v not this negative voltage even the most energetic electron was stopped hence this was called stopping potential so two important features of this graph is the saturation current and the stopping potential now saturation current how was saturation current explained in fact first thing that einstein made us assume was that interaction between photon and electron is one to one that means energy of one photon cannot be shared by two electrons if photon is to be absorbed it will be completely absorbed by a single electron one to one relation between incident photon and emitted electron that's why if 100 photons are incident at most only 100 electrons can be emitted 101 electron can never be emitted so einstein said there is a one to one relation between the incident photon and the emitted electron and therefore when uh you note this graph you see even at zero voltage some current was there that means if this applied voltage is zero if we simply connect it with the wire still there will be current photoelectric current flowing in this tube why because as the incident light of frequency equal to or greater than threshold frequency is incident on it the electrons are immediately emitted and some of the electrons have so much energy that they reach the electrode on their own and they constitute this current that means even at applied voltage zero there is a current now there are some electrons which are not able to reach the electrode now when the applied voltage is increased you see some more electrons join that crowd some more electrons are able to reach the electrode when this is further increased more electrons reach but if the applied voltage is beyond a certain value all the electrons that have been emitted suppose 100 electrons suppose 100 photons have fallen means 100 electrons have been emitted all the 100 are being collected so now if you increase the applied voltage by any amount no more electrons will join hence the current will appear to be saturated it is at its maximum value because 100 photons were falling 100 electrons are emitted and all the 100 are being collected so current can't increase beyond this value and this current is called the saturation photoelectric current now you can uh look at this graph which says that if you increase the intensity of the incident light if you increase the intensity of the incident light only then that means what are you increasing according to einstein you are increasing the number of photons falling on it in instead of 100 now you are making 200 photons incident on the metal so maximum of 200 electrons will be emitted that means the saturation current now can have higher values so 
this was the first graph with one intensity now we have increased the intensity of light so look the saturation photo current has also increased so with the increase in intensity of incident light matlab 100 ki jagah yadi aap aap 200 photons metal pe dal rahe hain to 200 electron emit honge 200 electron ke corresponding jo current hoga wo 100 ke muqable zyada hoga so that's why with the increase in intensity of light the saturation photoelectric current has also increased now look at this graph now here in this case the frequency of light has been increased keeping the intensity constant when the frequency is increased when the frequency is increased well you see photoelectric equation is now this threshold frequency 